Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. If the number of warlocks on the ladder is bringing you down a little bit, don't worry, you can defeat warlocks and you don't even have to spend much dust to do it. Let me present you the Agro Shaman. Back in Fortune the Barons, Budget Agro Shaman was stronger than Budget Elemental Shaman even though the full cost versions were reversed, and the same still applies in United and Stormwind. Budget Elemental Shaman is Better now that it was in Fortune the Barons, but Budget Acro Shaman is still really, really good. The two decks resemble each other more and more because there are some new cards from United and Storm with Granite Forgeborn, Canal Slogger, and you definitely still want to include this in your Acro Shaman. Canal Slogger, it can defeat some Taunt minions from the way, and if you're in an Acro Mirror, all of that life still can be just a life saver, so they change the clocks considerably. And Granite Forgeborn just making all those elementals cheaper is just downright insane. However, the main wing edition of Agro Summon remains Doomhammer. Doomhammer, rock by the weapon, storm strikes. You get the idea. Boom, boom. It goes face. You don't necessarily need any expensive cards to play Agro Shaman, but I have seen a lot of people play with Lilibet Lurkers in this meta and cutting Torrent to include Lilibet Lurker in the deck. And it kind of makes sense, because Granite Forgeborn discounting the Elementals, getting another Elemental kind of big body, it makes the deck closer to a regular Elemental Shaman, but that's something that you could consider. As for the mulligans with the deck, you're always looking for Kindling Elemental, Veiling Vapor, Granite Forgeborn, Cage Mask Custodian. Just get on the board at the start of the game, and preferably do it for your Doom Hammers. If you have a good opening hand already, you can also keep an average Stormer, even more pressure. Now, let's go take a look at Budget Agro Shaman in action, and if you enjoy this content, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. We're just gonna go do the Umhammer again. Okay. Is it Forgeborn on tree? Just totally could be. I think it has to be Forgeborn on tree in this position. Then all of this stuff is cheaper. Some more elementals on four and then Doomhammer on five. That's what we're working towards. We'll see. Warlock is Warlock, and it does Warlock things. But I want to do Hammer out there on five. So we'll see how this works out. If it does. Just try to punch them in the face. Let's not try to not let them get to like turn six, turn seven, where things start to get awkward. They have the first discount, so multiple things can be played. There's also seven damage to immediately from hand. If no Doom Hammer is played next turn, depending on of course if seven damage is better. That's unlikely, but not completely impossible. They're still staring at 11 damage here, but I think they have some answers. Maybe not. Maybe we just hit them in the face and kill them. That seems to be a reasonable answer, often in this meta. Options, options. Can I leave the Dark Lair up? Is the Dark Lair too scary? I have to leave the Dark Lair up. I think I have to leave the Dark Lair up there. Just push. But if they have a Monari Mosher, they can heal with the Dark Lair. There are some downsides to this plan. I won't have enough mana next turn to play Dungeoneer into things. We'll see. It's still difficult for them to navigate as well. 
Manaru Mosher would do a lot of good. Double dog clears, okay. Eight. Then. Oh, a stealer. Okay. Two stealers. Can they just do everything next turn? I don't have enough damage to kill them. I have 10 damage here. But can they heal up? We're just going to have to find out, aren't we? Can they heal up enough? They must not take a single point of damage. Their cards cost health. They're just at the risk of immediately dying here. Nice mana. But it doesn't help you if you're dead. Ooh. Doomhammerino. We're not going to keep it in the mulligan. Godstone music. I think Godstone music is pretty good. Blizzard has always been good with like art, music, stuff like that. Although I hear that they have been... Well, that's depressing. That's one depressing hand. I could have lightning bolted face, I guess, but... This is a depressing hand. That makes it much better. I'm so happy I didn't cast the lightning bolt last turn now. And I really want to do Doomhammer on 5. So I want to do like Serpentine Portal on 3, into Dungeoneer on 4, into Doomhammer on 5. Or just Portal now. Frenzy effect for Divine Shield can be interesting. So it went much better than I had expected. Nature waits. Getting some face. Climbing the chess ladder. I'm now better than 28% of players only chess. Which means that I'm in the bottom third of all players. <laughs> but I mean, I practice for 30 days. I wonder how many of those players have entered the game in the last 30 days. I played against human beings now for 12 days. This is the twelfth day playing against other people. So am I afraid of the Dark Lair? But I might be a little bit afraid of the Dark Lair. I'll take it down. Let's take it down. I can still do Mammer next turn. Handing me the Divine Shield on that. Okay. It's Hammer time. Elements, guide me. Demonic Assault. That's fine, it gives me a target for my Storm Strike. I could of course also dunk tank and kill them naturally, but Storm Strike is good. Storm Strike one of them. Then I will need to lightning bolt the other. Do I even want a minion on the board? They have I think I don't want a minion there. 
I'll just kill those. Then do the dome. Now we'd have seven mana next turn. Goes down to six if I use a lightning bolt now. I can't get additional damage in. I think this is okay. Let's try this. This version is even better than the full cost version against Warlock. Yeah, this is pretty decent. I didn't want to leave them a target so that they could attack with this with life steal. That's why I didn't play a minion. And then we finish the Warlock off like that. One dead Warlock. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Twitch channel.